What is up, everybody? Hello. And welcome back to another series of Phil. Andy's Travel, Travel Spree. Spree. Look, we told you we was going to be back. <laughs> we wasn't through with you yet. And uh, we actually got another adventure planned for you guys. So peep the shirts. You already know what it, what time it is. We going to the ship. Hey, we going to the ship. What? We going to the ship. What? We are actually headed to the Big Easy. The 504. Yeah. New Orleans, baby. New Orleans. We are going aboard the Carnival Valor for a five-day sailing to Costa Maya, Mexico, and Cozumel, Mexico. And we got a surprise for you. We actually have a, another surprise oh. guest this time. Oh. Say hi. It's PJ. Say hi. Smile, man. <laughs> <laughs> Rock with us. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. Actually kind of nervous because this is our first big family trip, but we're going to see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Here we have made it to New Orleans, getting ready to board the Carnival Valor. Got the fam ready, all the bags packed. Can you see the bags? Yeah, we got so much stuff, it's unreal, man. It's really this one right here. How you, the smallest one, got the most stuff? You all right, man? You ready to go? You ready to go? <laughs> bye bye. All right. <laughs> All right, just to give you an idea of where we are, we are by the convention center. We're actually on convention center drive and we parked at the um, at the Fulton Place Discount Cruise Center. And look, we're literally right here across the street from the ship. That is the Carnival Valor. That's the ship we're getting ready to go on. Next time you see us, we'll be on that. Station. Right now we're waiting on the rooms. 
lot to be finished. It was a lot. It's been a long process. It was a lot. I'm glad he's won. Yeah, so he didn't have to go through the whole testing thing since he's won. So we kind of got sped up through the line, but it was still long. a process. Uh, right now it's about 1.15. We got about 15 minutes till the room's going to be ready. But we're going to be good this time. If you looked at our Carnival Breeze series, we were a little on the naughty list, but we, we, we're, we're going to be good this time. So we actually got a later boarding time, about 12.30, because we knew we were going to have so much stuff packing him around. We figured about by the time we got on the ship, it will be about time to go to the room. But about 15 minutes early, so uh, we're going to be good and wait on the rooms, and we'll talk to y'all when we get in the rooms. All right, we are in. Looks like we're at a dead. Oh, here we go, 2209. All right, guys, so we got an interior cabin this time because PJ's traveling with us. You know, we just didn't know how he was going to really react, you know, with the balcony. We just kind of playing it safe. Um, but you do have a restroom right here to the right as soon as you walk in. I mean, pretty standard. Of course, you got your shelf, plenty of shelving space here. Um, comes with a shower curtain. This is an older ship, um, so that's understandable. Of course, you got your shampoo and your shower gel and of course clothesline just in case you need to hang your wet clothes all right since we do got pj um they did give us a bunk um just in case you didn't know um carnival does provide crib so we'll be added i was asking our room steward for a crib um as soon as we get a chance to meet him i mean but other than that i mean it's pretty standard um got vanity space right here in this case, you know, you need to touch yourself up, powder your nose a little bit. Of course, Carnival, give you a little bit of TV. Um, some waters that they give you. This is paid for. Um, but because our VFP number, we are red, we do receive complimentary waters um, from the bar or a restaurant or any place of service. Uh, of course, it comes with your standard three closet areas. Clothes hangers, just in case you need to hang your clothes up. Another closet space here is where your life jackets is going to be. And then, of course, another closet space here. They do give you extra comforters just in case you need it. Um, and your full length mirror. So, again, nothing spectacular. Um, I am going to go ahead and start getting unpacked. I did find that to be a lot easier in our last series that we did. Um, D, you going to unpack? I don't know. We'll see. I might unpack PJ's stuff. I'm team unpack now. I, I, I can't switch back. After doing it one time, it just, it just saves you a lot of time. As soon as you wear those dirty clothes, just put them back in the suitcase. And I'm going to unpack PJ's stuff. It just saves you a lot of time. As soon as you wear those dirty clothes, just put them back in the suitcase. And it just made my life easier. So. Yo, I don't know how we missed this. We got a gift from Kyra. Looks like we got a beach bag. Thank you, Kyra, so much. Uh, if you don't know Kyra, Kyra from AK Adventures. Uh, we did actually book through her. So she booked this vacation for me and my family. On From the bottom of my heart, we want to thank you so, so, so much. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for help organizing everything. Everything has been so professional and seamless all the way through. Just want to give a big shout out to you. Thank you. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to AK Adventures. Her and her husband, Aaron, they are amazing content creators. All right. After your vanity, we do have a safe here. Looks like a credit card safe. A couple drawers. Got your hair dryer. You know, plenty of space. Five day selling. So, well, at least for me, anyway, since I'm the only one unpacking. I said I was going to unpack you. Okay, she's going to unpack PJ stuff. Uh, what we do also have here, you got a small table over there. Uh, I don't see any outlets there. Uh, no outlets here. But there's a little bit of storage under there. Of course, you got your light switch over there to control the cabin um, power. And then here, you got your refrigerator. I always, I always mess this part up. There we go. All right. 
So plenty of space. We got drinks or we brought milk. So they did let us bring 2% milk on board for PJ. So uh, we're going to keep that nice and cold for him. Wow. What you say? Wow. <laughs> you ready, PJ? You ready? Ready? Set? Ready, set, go. go. All right, man. Oh, so y'all, this appears to be the only outlet in the main cabin. So uh, we did bring, not a surge, but um, one of those approved outlets. I forget what they're called. I'll probably write it in when I'm editing this. But we did bring some of those. That way we're able to connect like six, seven devices at one time. So that's definitely something you should add to your um, your packing list. Yes, sir. You already know the deal. You know what it is when I get on the carnival ship. You know what's going on. Thank you. Hey, look. You already know how we coming out. You already knew the deal when I stepped on the ship. So this is Carnival's new Thunderstruck burger. So it's kind of like almost Tex-Mex on a bun. They got the little chips in there, some nacho cheese, some beans. put it above the pig patty but I think the ringer still might be number one but it's good I'm these won't be the only two that I'm getting on the ship yeah I came back in the room in the room steward instead of leaving the bags outside he actually brought them inside now I don't have a problem with that I thought that was actually you know Pretty courteous of him to do. Have y'all ever had anybody do that for y'all? Cause usually they, you know, they just bring your luggage, leave it outside the door, you know, for you to come and bring it inside. But they actually went the extra mile to bring the uh, the bags inside. So um, whoever whoever the room steward is, I haven't met them yet. Room steward, stewardess, whoever you are, appreciate it. Come in. Oh, yeah. oh you the room steward. Yeah. So you get all your luggage? Yeah. You brought it inside? Yeah. Okay. That was nice. Because usually, you know, everybody leaves them outside. <laughs> so, no, no. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Thank you. That was really good. So is everything okay in the room? Yeah. Um, one thing. Can we get a crib? We have a one-year-old. Absolutely. So Absolutely. we'll need a crib. Yeah. yeah so. right. What's your name? My name is Irvin. Irvin? Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, yeah. Irvin. So... If you need something else, I'm going to be around here. Or okay. you can press the housekeeping button on the telephone. Okay. It's going to be connected to my phone. Okay. Yeah. And starting tomorrow, I'm going to be cleaning your room one time a day. Okay. You want me to come in the daytime or in the evening when you're going to dinner? In the evening. We have dinner at 6. Sure. Okay. So that, that'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If you need something, please let us know. Thank you, Irv. You want to wave? You on, you're going on YouTube, Irvin. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? You. I'm from Indonesia. All right. All right. Thank you, yeah. Irvin. Appreciate Thank you. it, man. Thank you. Hey, shout out to Irvin, man. Irvin is, I like Irvin already. It's day one. And, you know, you, you usually kind of, you know, not necessarily hesitant, but skeptic. I would say skeptical about the type of series you're going to receive from your, your room steward. I, I got, I kind of got a good feeling about Irvin. Irvin might be all right. <laughs> Get ready to be on vacation, man! Stop, man!